Hello, my name is Juan Pablo, and in this course, we're going to create an amazing single page design using HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. And this single page will have a lot of functionality. For example, we have this slider. You can see that the image are moving. I'm going to show you how to add the same slider with this CS3 gradient as a background. You can see a darker color is here at the bottom and like like lighter color is here at the top. Next is I'm gonna show you how to add these animations to your project. You can see at the top we have this main navigation. It adds a background color with this shadow at the bottom. If I scroll up, the background color disappears and the box shadow disappears. The main navigation goes back to its original appearance. For example, if I scroll to the bottom, we have this feature section, and this is going to add more animations while I'm scrolling. Here we have the models section. I'm going to show you how to add these models so you can click and see a larger version of the image. We also have this amazing parallax effect. So I'm going to show you how to add uh, the same effect in your project. You can see more animations here on the section called Download. So I'm going to scroll to the top and I'm going to reload. Here we have the main navigation. So what we're going to do is when you click on any of these links, it will move across the website with an amazing, amazing scroll effect. You can see it's working and animation are taking place. And you can see that these menu items or the text it's added or it's using a Google font. So I'm going to show you how to add any Google fonts to your project. We also gonna have an scroll spy effect. You can see I'm gonna start scrolling, and when I reach this, this part of the website, a darker color is gonna be added to the menu, showing us where we are in the website. Let's scroll a little more to the features section, and we can see that the background color has been added. I'm gonna scroll even more to the screenshot, and you can see now the screenshot has been active. Let's scroll down to the download, and here we have the download icon or the download menu as active. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and the support now is active. Finally, we're going to have this contact form with validation. You can see if I let all the inputs empty and I click here on the send button. I'm going to have a, a lot of errors. This feed is required and cannot be empty. This is the feedback that we're getting from the browser. So I'm going to write my name, Juan Pablo. And you can see that the icon is being changed and showing us a green icon, showing us that the value is correct now. If, for example, we add an email, Juan, and I only add the add sign, it, it tells us the input is not a valid address. I'm going to add a, a domain. You can see that the values change. And finally, we have this message. Can, message cannot be empty. Who sends an empty message? So let's write hello. Now all the values are correct. So this is what we're going to build in this course. I hope you find it interesting and let's, let's start learning.